be prepared to pay up to 11 cities per litre for fuel starting in the next 24 hours. That's the warning coming from the bulk oil distributors who blame the situation on volatility on the market. Russia invasion of Ukraine has seen oil prices rise to its highest level in more than a decade and is on the verge of hitting new record with crude prices predicted to reach as high as $185 a barrel. Chief Executive of the Bulk Oil Distributor, Senor Osi, has been speaking to Evans Mensa. Not really with crude, but with um, products on a metric ton basis, mm -hmm. some margins on their current prices. The BBC prices, uh, like I said, they are just quite indicated. Also, for some broken repairs, someone almost, almost doing the same. And um, what what you see from the OMT publication is quite is quite reflective of what the market situation is, and I think a big chunk of it has to do with some of the uncertainties um, around uh, uh, the the free situation and also our currency issues. The National Petroleum Authority says uh, that the oil marketing companies are not adjusting their pump prices beyond the indicative prices provided to the authority. Mohamed Abdul Kudus is the communications manager for the NPA. And so uh, the OMC and the fact that they are buying it to the BDCs are minded by the consequences of the future. And so they, 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 you see the marginal review. And let me explain this. Um, the review might be irregular, but it is not illegal. Well, the consumers remain at the, um, and are bearing the brunt of the incessant increases in the price petroleum of uh, prices of petroleum products. What becomes of their interest, particularly as the prices of product escalates? Joining us via phone is Adam Steven, who is the secretary at the uh, Consumer Advocacy Center. I'm grateful for your time, sir. Now, governments seem to be making more in a situation that is so unfavorable to consumers. Many are worried that government is not making efforts to cushion consumers. Ideally, what should be the situation as far as government policy is concerned? Uh, hello, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to our viewers and listeners. Um, I think government is not being sensitive to the plight of the consumer. Um, the consumer has no control over the stability of the city. So government should be sensitive to the consumer. In that um, Ghana as a country is an exporter of crude. If you check our budget, uh, government peg the price of petroleum at $63 uh, thereabouts. For now, we are selling our crude at, in the face of the rising cost of the uh, product on the market. And I think government is not doing enough. Also, um, there are taxes, there are some taxes on petroleum products that government can suspend at least for now. Then when prices stabilize, then government can reintroduce them if government does to. Well, the, the consumer is feeling the heat. Yeah. So, I mean, is there any, um, you know, alternative left for consumers? What should consumers do at this critical moment? At this critical moment, we are at the mercy of the government. The consumer has no control over the prices of petroleum products. We can at best hit the street and demonstrate to the same government to reduce the prices of these products. So first, we would want to call on the government to see to it that some taxes, the ESLA, for instance, the ESLA, a tax on the petroleum product, was introduced ostensibly uh, to clear some debt in the energy sector. The debt has been cleared. It, uh, the ESLA was to clear a debt of $9 billion. Consecutive figures show that government has raised in over $20 billion. So why is the consumer still paying that tax? It's up to government to be... Even Adams, his secretary of the Consumer Advocacy Centre, well, increase in um, petrol, prices of petroleum products means increase in everything in the country. Let's hear from some drivers and passengers on this. Because every day we are doing. Now, every man away, and we did two, four, any 
I just pray the government that you should see the fool so that they will do something about it for us. Young drivers, when you are to fool, so I will do my scout banyano, who cut off where now you say, I will never be in coffee. Un yes can be in fan coffee and fan show, or you're no ma, the bia, you pebusia, and to strana, the bia, because I strabano, no maybe wa, or no nest or bim, no titinium or titinium, I have ya kosu. Yaji four city sixty pesos. And so I can buy this time cry, Yaji three city crown pull from here to Sua. And yet, passing yes and so be about more. And so they say, I said, I know, passing yes and no more.